So in the process of carrying you guys along, um, hmm, today is our first scan guys, yes today is my scan, I'm going to see my baby for the first time today, um, well if you live in the UK and you've had a baby here, you know that they don't do your scan until 12 weeks. If you're not 12 weeks gone, they're not going to do your scan. And today I'm 13 weeks already. And this is when they are doing my scan. I'm going to my hospital to do my scan. I have an appointment for 9.20 today. This is 9.02. So 18 minutes to my appointment. I already ordered a cab. I don't want to drive because I've never been to that road before. And where I've never been to, I don't want to drive for the first time. So I don't miss my way and then get late for my appointment. You know this place, everything about them is appointment. If you miss your appointment, they can give you another two months later or something, you know. So I don't want to miss my appointment. So I'm using a cab. The cab is about seven minutes away. That's what I checked before starting again. And how am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm actually nervous. <sighs> because I'm, I'm like, I want to see my baby for sure. Ah, they asked me to drink one liter of water. When I'm done with this thing, I'm going to drink water so that my stomach is, my bladder is full. So um, what am I saying? So that it's easy to see the baby. When your bladder is full, it's easier to do your scan and see the baby and see everything going on. Okay, so um, everything is fine. Like my symptoms have really, really gone down. I've, I've not thrown up in a long time. I only feel really tired. Like when I finish, yesterday now, I made vegetable soup. Standing for like an hour 30 minutes in the kitchen, I was extremely exhausted. As I finished, I just went to sleep. I get tired easily. I think that's the symptom I'm noticing now and indigestion. But apart from that, I'm actually very, very fine. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm going to have my this morning. I woke up, I could not sleep well overnight. I was nervous, like, oh my god, I'm gonna see my baby. Oh my god, I hope everything is fine. I hope my baby is fine. I hope I'm fine. Oh my god, please, you know, when you get to this scan, you start to check, check different, different things. I'm just, but I've, I, I know, I believe God, God loves me, He has my best interest at heart, He has given us this gift. His gifts that we really, really wanted and prayed for. He gave it to us without stress. I know that the entire process will be without stress. The nine months, I'll carry this child to full term, deliver my baby, boy or girl, without stress. And everything is going to come out beautiful. So I think my cab is here. It's going to call me if it's the one. So yeah, that's the update. We're going for the scan. I'll take you guys along. I'll try to video bits and pieces of the hospital, what the doctor says. I'm just trying to like document my journey. So anyone, any Nigerian or immigrant that's giving birth in the UK would understand the process, how it works. The first contact you have is with your midwife at eight weeks. My midwife already visited me. She already um, she, like asked me if I have any problem, if I have any symptoms I'm worried about. I said no. She did my BP, checked my vitals, and we just did like the first introduction to the pregnancy. Then your midwife will be the one to book you for a scan. Then she has booked me for the scan now, and yeah, I'm going for the scan today. Whew. Let's go, guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> one eternity later. So I've gotten to the hospital already, but I have to walk to the maternity ward. And I have just four minutes to my appointment. These guys. Oh, she missed that appointment like this. Oh. Now, wahala. Oh, so I'm trying to be very fast. God, how did she even describe this thing? She said I should turn around the roundabout. I should take my right. So I should take my right. Then I would see maternity and child care. Oh. This hospital is big. And that's what I was really thinking about. I wanted to be... I wanted the car to drop me where exactly in front of the maternity ward. But I don't even know if I know what I'm doing now. It sounds like I'm going out to. Hey, God. Okay, Atinatal and Gynecology Clinic. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. I think I'm getting it. There's a nurse in front of me. I think I'm just going to ask her. Just to be very sure. That's the maternity and the God. 
Right, so I had to get a, I had to get a bottle of water when I got in because I saw a lady sitting down beside me that the sonographer has to step out and drink water because they could not see her baby properly. You know, I told you guys already that I drank a lot of water before leaving the house, but still, just to be double, double sure, I ran to the receptionist and told her to give me water. It's completely free. They give you a bottle of water to drink so your bladder is full, and then you're able, especially for like early pregnancies, please drink a lot of water so you are not like asked to go out and you're just wasting time in the hospital for no reason. So I just drank enough just to double proof. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went in for the scan then so i've seen my baby and my baby is fine my baby is fine 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 oh god thank you god i was so worried you know if you're a mom you understand this like if you've not seen your baby you'll be so scared like god Ah, you know the first scan is when they the first scan is so is what ah until that first scan you are so worried. Ah, thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the baby is very, very fine. Everything is good. Good, good, good. The uh, sonographer was happy with everything. No problems at all. So I'm in the toilet now. I'm supposed to do a urine sample and then I'm going to like wee in this thing. Of course, TMI, but I'm going to wee in this thing and then I'm going to give it back to them and then I'm going to go home. That's it for today. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. Thank you. Let me have my wee now. Blood test now. I'm gonna do a blood test. They are checking for um, Down syndrome, autism, traces of those things. That's why we are doing the blood test, okay? One eternity later. And so I just got back from the hospital, as you guys can see. And I came back with this pouch. They had this uh, pregnant here. This is my. Um, multivitamin this is what i use every blessed day but not this pregnant care original i use the pregnant care with omega-3 the one that has the omega-3 that's the one i use okay so yeah this is the pregnant care the, it came with it it was in there it also came with a pen oh by by pregnant care pregnant care is the one sponsoring this i guess yeah it came with a pen see the black pen the black pen i can use it at work because we don't use white blue pen at work it's black Oh my, it's black away. Eh? I'll start using it at work. All right, so black pen, pregnant care. You also came with this note. Yeah, I think it's about your baby. Ah, the blood test I did, the woman poked me in four different places. Poked me here, poked me two places here. She poked me as well as you guys can see. Like, I'm feeling pain when I bend my hand like this. That piece is paining me. Okay, so uh, then also pregnant care. They're just trying to like sell pregnant care but even from nigeria i've always used pregnant care like from nigeria when it was really expensive i would buy pregnant care every blessed month for my pregnancy and look at my baby today he's very fine smart healthy boy so yeah they could not see the sex today of course he's still very young but my next scan they will be able to tell the sex and i'm hoping it's a girl but to be honest healthy baby is what is important if it's another boy i give god all the glory so long as he's healthy and happy and doing good no problem he also gave me this book that says best place decisions now this is my notes i can't show you guys anything there because the face is the front it has all my information so i'm not going to show you that but this they'll give you these notes in the hospital so you have to go to the hospital every appointment in the hospital you have to go with this note so this is the note that has all your information everything about you this is the note that has everything <clears throat> and, hey, so this midwife that saw me she said 
so they would check if i'm physically and emotionally well she was asking me like because the midwife the after the scan you see one midwife the midwife was asking me well am i fine like how am i feeling am i feeling okay like is everything fine at home i said yeah everything is fine my husband is fine he went to work that's why he didn't come with me he had his training today at work so he couldn't take time off she kept asking me personal not like she was invading anything no but she kept she just wanted to know if i was fine now this is the opportunity if your husband is not treating you well or you're having any issues at all this is the opportunity to tell them so they can look into it but i said I, of course everything is fine big nothing is wrong with my family we are very very fine my husband is treating me well we are good we are very good so yeah that's it with the first um scan so if you're an immigrant and you're looking to be pregnant this is the i could not do too much video in the hospital to be honest i don't know why because i was really anxious to know to see my baby i know that everything is fine but maybe the next scan i go for my 20 week scan yes i will do a video of the hospital see the hospital is really beautiful clean environment very nice and yeah that's about it that's the end of this scan this first scan the second scan and i think i'm gonna merge it together with this as well yeah and that's gonna be it like my first this is the end of my first trimester my first trimester is over i'm now in my second trimester 13 weeks one day so this is the beginning of my second trimester i'm feeling all right i'm feeling good i just get tired easily and i eat a lot not like a lot a lot but i feel hungry all the time i need to eat i ate before leaving oh my head semo and vegetable and now i'm feeling hungry it's just 11 oh 11 10 i'm feeling hungry again so i'm gonna get another food to eat have my medication for the day and that's about it okay i'll see you guys in my next scan video this is your baby brother or baby sister any one of the two look ba baby or what do you want a baby boy or a baby girl a oh, baby girl a baby boy ah you want two of them together yeah. but mommy is only having one now you can no, see wait, wait, wait. That be all right see it's only one here yeah. only one so you, you have to pick one girl or boy um, mama, I want two. you want two yeah. okay i'll think about it <laughs>